Hey guys, this is Claudia here from the Bookkeeping Experts. <laughs> As many of you know, I've been a bookkeeper for a long time. <laughs> and one of the things that I like the most is to be able to interact with my clients. I have clients from all over the country that varies from e-business to restaurants to landscaping, pretty much all over the place, medical, attorneys. <laughs> and um, it's so fun to be able to make be part of their team be part of your team and help you understand your finances i think that understanding your finances is kind of like turning on the light um, in your house so you can know uh, where things are so imagine walking around your house in the middle of the night when everything is pitch black and the lights are off and as you are going to the kitchen you're stepping everywhere and maybe <laughs> maybe on a piece of Lego or whatever <laughs> ah! <laughs> so but the thing is that you can't tell what's going on if you don't turn on the lights right so um, turning on the lights on your business is understanding your financials so not just getting your books ready for your accountant at the end of the year but mostly having your books ready at any time so you can go to and look at your numbers and understand what you need to do to, um, to be pro proactive and grow your business. Um, especially right now, it's more important than ever to understand where's your money coming from and where it's going to. Okay, so cost of fuel is absolutely high. Uh, who would have thought that fuel prices it, it would be at five dollars almost five dollars so uh, luckily this week is it went down a little bit but hopefully you know it's going to continue downwards but we know that the fuel prices is out of control and for for those of you guys who drive a lot i have customers who drive a lot that is a big expense and actually some of my clients were able to look at their reports and know that if they didn't create some kind of adjustment or you know a surcharge for long drives and things like that they would be their 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 income their profit would be compromised right um, other customers that own restaurant the the cost of food is just outrageous it has grown like maybe I don't know 30% or more so if you don't know exactly how much you're paying for things and how this is in impacting your 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 profit then y at the end of the day you're gonna be losing money and you don't even know you're losing money uh, but if you know exactly what's going on you can be proactive and make jo those changes I have a customer who has a restaurant hi Kristen <laughs> um, and one thing that she says that you know by understanding her financials she was able to adjust her menu price so she could be profitable uh, another customer came up to me and and said you know Claudia um, if I didn't have you helping me at understand my financials I would not know that my profit has been killed by my insurance costs so you know he was able to cut the insurance costs maybe it's time for you to look for a different vendor and and be a little more aggressive and you know finding better prices and things like that or maybe it's time to adjust your menu uh, your menu prices whatever it is how are you gonna know if you don't know <laughs> you don't know what you don't know so knowing your business uh, or your financials is the key for your business success I cannot emphasize that enough all right okay <laughs> that's good enough Claudia let's go straight to the to the subject so we're gonna go to QuickBooks online right now enough of fluff here we are uh, QuickBooks online this is just a reminder folks this is the accountant view if you are on the business view I'm gonna show you right now if you click on the top right hand side menu um, I'm gonna click on switch to business view and if your interface look like this <laughs> you're in business view okay so you can still do everything from here 
uh, but it, everything looks a little different it has more like a desktop feel if you don't like that no problem you can change back let's click on the gear menu again switch back to account and view so that's my interface if you want to stay here um, because it's easier for you to see what I'm doing that's how you do it and you can change back and forth no problem we're gonna go to the profit and loss today I'm gonna talk about how to customize a few things on the main page so you can actually customize the the report period you know, I can go last month or this year or this year to date I like this year to last month because I reconcile up to last month Okay, we can show it as total only but you can change it if you want to show months or quarters or uh, or if you want to show it by vendors employees location you can change it right here see that I'm gonna show it by months okay and you can change the accounting period that's that's something that uh, that many of you don't even know what that is right so what is cash basis and what is accrual basis well cash basis means that you count your expenses your income the moment you touch the money or you give away the money right an accrual basis is the moment you accrue even if you haven't paid yet or even if you haven't gotten paid yet so you send an invoice to your client that you perform service the moment you send that invoice it counts as income even if you didn't get paid if you are in accrual basis now uh, the accounting method in QuickBooks you can change back and forth and you can change it here you can change it on the gear menu under accounts and settings and then advance um, oh, but anyhow you can change it back and forth that's my <laughs> but with your accountant you can only change once once you change it that's it you can't go back and forth right but here you can change back and forth okay I'm gonna keep it on cash and we're gonna go ahead and run reports so those are the customization that I did and here is what I can see for this guy it's just a sample company he is a landscaping business you see that there's not a lot of transactions in the beginning of the year that makes sense right a little bit more in March and then when it gets May, hey, back in business. That's how it works, okay? Now, uh, it's good to be able to see it by months like that because you can kind of compare. See, there is a little bit of a loss on the, those months. And then, um, obviously, on the net operating income, you see when I start becoming profitable, right? That's, all. Um, that's how you know, all right? Okay, there's another way to customize as well it's you click on the customization here on top right here okay so this is the same areas that we were talking about so it was just on a different place so you can customize the report period like we were talking about cash or accrual right here and the roles how you want it and then finally you can do it you can filter by vendor or by location or by customer let's suppose you have multiple location you want to do it by location you can click here and you want to see it specified uh, or not specified or you can do you know let's suppose I have a cup of location I can do the main location only I can just sing, uh, focus on that or I can do not specify for me maybe you know there is a location that you never put anything that's your main location and the other one is location one or two now keep in mind that in order for this to work you do need to enter the location same thing with a customer if you need to keep track of your customer for every single transaction you need to put the name of the customer and that is on the expense and on the income uh, let's suppose you want to track the expenses for a certain customer on your uh, categorization there is a place where you can put your customer in there so this way that expense is going to be associated with a specific customer okay so that's how you do it and uh, once you customize everything that you need to customize if you want to do it by location or whatever you can go ahead and run reports so this is our report that we did just by months okay, if I want to do it by quarters I can run report I only have the two quarters over here you can run it by quarter 
or you can change um, you can change the names of the the report as well so let's suppose I want to change it here Craig's design landscaping service I want to put uh, LLC and instead of profit and loss I'm gonna call this income statement okay oh if you don't know what income statement is now you know <laughs> it's the same thing as the profit and loss so it's just a different way to call it all right so income statement uh, some people call it different names as well call it whatever you want <laughs> no profit and loss income statement that's uh, that's the main thing right all right um, why is it important sometimes you can find actually you can localize things uh, such as so let's suppose I put it by months here I'm looking at this report trying to look for a discrepancy and I see a negative amount on the pest control service income that means that this is probably a refund now if there is no refund here maybe this was supposed to be an expense account so if I click on the number right here it's gonna open up all those transactions I can take a look say hey wait a minute those three transactions uh, this two not two, three three two transactions here are supposed to be expense so you, you know you can click on this transaction and change it right from here instead of pest control service we are going to select oh this is a credit memo that's why okay so that's what it is it's a credit memo guys so yeah it is negative <laughs> so it's right <laughs> okay but that's how you locate the the main thing is that how, that's how you locate if there is any discrepancy and you look at by month right if anything doesn't look right you know oh hey hey wait that doesn't look right you can select right from here and make corrections all right, so here, for instance, there's a bunch of miscellaneous expense. And uh, what is mi miscellaneous? It doesn't mean anything. So all those transactions here need a proper categorization. So, you know, if you click on the number here, all the transactions associated with that is going to open up and you can go ahead and give a proper home to those expenses because right now they're all homeless because miscellaneous doesn't mean anything. So this is uh, Hicks Hardware. Let's suppose that this is repair and maintenance or maintenance and repair. And there it is. Uh, as supplies, by the way, cost of goods sold. Okay, save and close. Yes, I know. And, uh, and that's it. Okay, and this one here. We're gonna give it a name as well. Um, oh, this is insurance. Oops, insurance. So you can change it right from here. Just regular insurance. Now, of course, if you're prepaying insurance, you wanna, you can actually divide, put it as prepaid insurance as an asset, and then divide it through the month. So, you, a lot of times people you know pay insurance once a month and uh, once a year i'm sorry and there's this huge expense of i don't know <laughs> whatever it is and it's all in one month uh so you're looking at the statements and you see that big number here and there's nothing else on the other months it just doesn't look right so what we do we actually treat it different we put it as an asset and we we then bring it you know bring it back from the asset account back to expense account each month with a journal entry okay we can talk about that on another video but this is this kind of like a just a um a little reminder so now this one tim phil and mensry uh it is cost of labor and voila i gave a home proper home to each of those expenses and now we got rid of that miscellaneous okay so this is the report easier to to look and i can observe here my results so i see that in the beginning of the year um on my operating i'm you know having a loss here but as i approach summertime usually for landscaping service as approach you know springtime 
summertime then we're making more money see that the more spending more money as well but um, but looking at this profit and loss I can verify where's my biggest expenses here so I can look at by month uh, insurance ah. and this is probably the case where you know we have to divide it through the months so anyhow that's what I was talking about cost of labor is eh, not too bad so you know this is how you look at the profit and loss and kind of determine what's going on with the business are you doing good or you have to make some adjustments so that's the income statement or in other words profit and loss for you that's um, profit and loss for for smart people I, I never say for dummies because that's only smart people that can actually go ahead and understand the finances of their business <laughs> that's all of you Thanks for watching this video, for, for staying with us throughout this video and uh, understanding a little bit more about your finances. If you like this video, hey, give us a thumbs up. That's, that's you know, just a little click down below. And also subscribe to our, video, our channel. By subscribing to our channel, you will be the first one to watch our most updated videos on free QuickBooks Online tutorials. This way, you know, if you haven't looked at your books for a long time, and you come back and you see everything changed like this. This changed just recently, you know? So you open up your books and you're like, ah, what is this? Now you know. Now you know. <laughs> and you can change it back if you don't like it, right? Okay, change it back. So anyhow, if you want to stay updated with things like that, subscribe to our channel. We'll be back on a constant basis with the most updated videos on QuickBooks Online. Thanks for watching. I hope you're having a marvelous vacation. I mean, uh, summer. <laughs> I haven't had a vacation yet. I, I have to take a couple of days off. So if I'm not here next week, you know I'm on vacation with my family somewhere. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> but anyhow, I hope you guys have a wonderful summer vacation. I'll see you briefly, actually, before just, just next week. Stay tuned, and until next time, keep on smiling.